29 forecast. Excessive heat alerts continue through sunset. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. The National Weather Service continues a heat advisory for much of the area through about 8 p.m. for the feels like temperature of 100 to 105 degrees. Now that may get issued again for tomorrow because we're going to have similar hot conditions. Temperatures here at 530 are in the 90s area wide, approaching 100 degrees in the shade in Charlottesville in the low and mid 90s. Harrisonburg, Stanton and Waynesboro, 90 at Louisa and 92 in Dillwyn and Lake Monticello. Not many showers or thunderstorms to help cool us off. NBC 29's live Doppler radar network is showing one tiny isolated downpour as we zoom on in to uh, Green County between Standardsville, Rutgersville. This is weakening as it pushes to the northeast towards the Route 33 corridor. So this is the only game in town. Now with the high heat and humidity, I can't completely rule out an isolated shower or downpour between now and say midnight. But by far the most active storm track is two hour north from Ohio, from Cleveland over towards the still city of Pittsburgh and east towards the Big Apple of New York City. This is the corridor most favored for severe weather over the next several hours with multiple severe thunderstorm watches and warnings. I'm watching a cold front to our northwest between Chicago and Detroit and Toronto that will head our way by this time tomorrow with a better chance for shower downpour and thunderstorm. That's the next big thing I'm tracking from the weather center. So we are in a level one out of five for severe weather. That means tomorrow any thunderstorm that gets going may produce some localized damaging wind gusts, maybe some small hail and even some localized flash flooding and of course a lot of frequent lightning. So future cash shows none of lot going on tonight. Just a stray shower or thunder shower tomorrow morning. It's a patchy fog, but we are rain free for that Friday morning commute. Friday midday looks also to be on the hot side and then anytime, any place after about 1 p.m. A shower downpour thunderstorm will be roaming over the region. There's 7 p.m. Showers and storms will begin to fade away after sunset. Watching the tropics, tropical depression, Fred north of uh, Cuba. It will head towards the Panhandle of Florida as a tropical storm in the Sunday Monday time frame, and it may give us beneficial rainfall in the next Tuesday and Wednesday time frame. Maybe an inch or two is projected at this time, maybe more, but we'll have to wait and see exactly the track into next week. Until then, it's a steamy one. Isolated storm risk with lows in the 70s, 80s and 90s through about 11 p.m. tonight. Tomorrow, hazy, hot and humid highs back in the 90s. Scattered storms. 70 forecast shows us heat busting storms on Saturday. One more day in the 90s. Scattered showers and storms likely and then lower temperatures. Look at this upper 70s on Sunday and Monday. More clouds, a few showers, rumbles of thunder, and then we'll watch some tropical rains in the Tuesday and Wednesday time frame. Perhaps from Fred. We'll see about that with daytime highs in the 80s with a daily threat for a shower, downpour and thunderstorm.